I recently posted a video showcasing three seemingly intelligent cloud-like masses filmed in different parts of the world. The footage was so bizarre, I was at a total loss to explain them, even to the point that I couldn't even figure out where to begin speculating. The best natural explanation I came across was that it's some sort of foamy, lighter-than-air mix of gas and chemicals. Personally, I found this explanation to be unsatisfactory for several reasons. It doesn't really explain the seemingly intelligent, deliberate appearance to the way it moves. It doesn't explain how it can suddenly stop on a dime, suddenly change to a seemingly unnatural position. How is it remaining in position for a prolonged period of time without showing any signs of collapsing under its own weight? Furthermore, foam would pick up bits of debris from the ground and be smeared against anything it came across. We just simply don't see that here. You just don't see any of that happening in any of these clips. So if there's an even more plausible natural explanation, I can't think of what it could possibly be. When it comes to exploring the kinds of topics that I cover on this channel, it is always prudent to try to find a natural, scientific explanation first. Here's a situation where, well, I, I looked high and low, and I did not find a natural explanation that satisfied me personally. That's why I'm willing to start considering that this is something paranormal or supernatural. Now, it just so happens that one of my cats is making a ruckus. Apparently, my good friend Byron Ballard was doing some research of his own, and he found something very interesting. He sent it over to me, and I took a look at it. Wow. My jaw practically fell completely off my face. The explanation that we're going to be looking into in this video is of a very, very supernatural nature, and it deals with something that, as a general rule of thumb, I typically avoid. That is... demons. Now, don't misunderstand me, I'm not saying that whatever this thing is is a demon, but the description of these demons have some incredibly eerie similarities to the footage. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Here we go. According to ancient Macedonian, Bulgarian, and Serbian folklore, there are shape-shifting sky demons known as Ale, or Allah, singular. This is not to be confused with the Islamic god figure Allah, though the pronunciation appears to be the same. Ale are regarded as feminine spirits and are closely associated with clouds. Seeing one is usually considered to be a very bad omen. They are said to enjoy destroying crops and have a voracious appetite for devouring children. Anyone who encounters them is in grave danger of losing their health or even their lives. However, it's possible to gain their favor by approaching them with respect and trust. Despite this, they're far more commonly considered to be harbingers of doom, leaving death and destruction in their wake. In that respect, they're somewhat similar to the Mothman. The similarities to other cryptids will become apparent as we continue. A given Allah may look like a black wind, a gigantic creature of indistinct form, a huge-mouthed, human-like or snake-like monster, a female dragon, or a raven. Similar to the Wendigo, an Allah can assume the shape of any animal or human it pleases. Furthermore, both Wendigo and Ale are said to be able to possess humans. In Russian folklore, it goes by the name Baba Yaga, which can be singular or plural. The Baba Yaga usually manifests as anywhere from one to three elderly deformed women. She is able to mask her human appearance and make herself appear as a cloud, the moon, a snake, a bird, or anything else she likes. They are said to live in a variety of places including clouds, forests, 
hidden remote places, mountains, lakes, springs, and massive trees. Similar to the missing 411 phenomenon, they're frequently associated with the sudden onset of unusually severe weather. This link can be taken one step further as these entities have also been blamed for certain disappearances, especially those of young children. Keeping all of this in mind, let's take another look at these three clips. Is it possible to link these three videos to any subsequent natural or man-made catastrophes? Let's start with a clip from Virginia. Byron found what appears to be the original upload. Posted June 4th, 2016, it was filmed at a place called Newman Village, somewhere in Richmond, Virginia. Virginia's had its fair share of tragedies, but I couldn't find anything of significance thereafter that was close enough in proximity to justify the possibility of this cloud being any sort of harbinger of doom. If it truly was, then whatever happened just wasn't that widely publicized. So this next piece of footage was filmed during the 2011 tsunami. It fits the bill in that there was a serious tragedy that happened here. A lot of people lost their lives this day. Before I go any further, I want to just put it out there that I don't know if these three clips are tied. All I'm trying to do in this video, and the ones before it, are just compile similarities amongst them. So I just want to be really clear about that. Here's the clip that struck me as looking like it was filmed somewhere in the Middle East. I do want to make it clear that I don't know for a fact that it was filmed here. Unfortunately, I couldn't find specific information pertaining to exactly when or exactly where this was filmed, but I feel like Middle East is a pretty good guess, and I'll take it a step further, because I've actually been to the Middle East, and the landscape is very similar to what you're seeing here. I'll take it a step further by saying that to me, it sounds like what's being spoken here is Arabic. I don't speak Arabic, so I don't know for certain. I would love for someone who does speak Arabic to contact me and to, you know, confirm that one way or the other. <laughs> Um, I'd also love to have a translation of, of whatever conversation is going on here. Because I feel like there's information within the conversation that's pertinent to what's going on that we as outsiders who do not speak the language are not privy to. Now, uh, this is definitely, in my opinion, the most intriguing of the three clips for a couple reasons. For one, I mean, it's this is just the strangest acting cloud. Uh, for two, listen closely. It. <laughs> if you listen very closely, you might be able to hear my cat. But if you listen closely to the footage, it sounds on a couple occasions like this guy is saying Allah. Listen. I didn't mention this before, but an alternate pronunciation for um, Allah is Hala or Hali or Hale, which that really, really sounds like what this guy is saying here. <laughs> I would also like to point out that geographically, if you consider where the Slavic nations are in comparison to the Middle East, I don't think it's inconceivable that that uh, Slavic folklore could have been passed down to wherever this is being filmed. One more point I have to add to that is 
look at how he's approaching it. One could argue that he's approaching this mysterious cloud with trust and respect. Much like we heard earlier in the video, was the way to earn an Allah's favor, by approaching it with trust and respect. Another thing, if, if in fact this was the Middle East, then, I mean, it's a no-brainer. That's a very violent, violent region. There's always going to be great loss of life there. So I'm going to give a check mark to the distinct possibility of there being some sort of natural or, in this case, likely man-made catastrophe uh, that led to a great loss of life. I mean, the sad fact of the matter is that's just always happening in the Middle East. So, are these three videos showing the same thing? I still don't have the answer to that. Are they, are any of them showing this folklore explanation that I've put out in this video? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm slow to say yes. You know, it's always prudent to stay skeptical. I doubt I'll do an update. I don't think there's very much that I can add to this. If you're able to provide a translation, please contact me because I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So that's all I got for this video. I hope everyone is doing well. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone, Drew here from Mad Cat Mysteries, and I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, you can click on the subscribe button below. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.